Hey, what's happening, Ranger Nation? Welcome back to another Boom Rangers versus Yeah! The battle for the grid continues on K Wings Let's Plays. So today's fan request is Mastodon Sentry versus Cenozoic Blue Ranger. Woohoo! And let's see if Luke fights. Uh, more aggressively or less good with a migraine? Oh, yeah, that's that's going to be fun. Yay! Oh, uh, I still can't do a team of Black Rangers, though. That that kind of bothers me. Get it together there, uh, Hasbro. We, we have to have more Rangers. Yeah. This is getting down to the wire. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Lord Draken, and I'm going to go with... Oh, my gosh. You're going to be Lord Draken? Oh. That's my team. Oh my gosh, who can I be to compete with that? All right. <laughs> oh, Goldar. Ooh, okay. Oh, wait. Oh, I guess we both have a Goldar sword. No, that That's works. Fine. So the first person to win uh, three matches will be the Morphin Master. And uh, just a reminder that Power Rangers Versus happens three times a week. Although we're getting down to the wire, folks. We have pretty much done every possibility there's known to man. So you guys really have to come up with some clever suggestions because... Uh, we're we're pretty much tapped out until some new news about characters release, and I have no idea when that'll be. No exactly. We'll just say that Enway has gone silent. So that's that's all I can say. Yep. Yeah, I'm actually doing pretty decent with a migrant. Nope, never mind. Oops, sorry, I accidentally pew, brought him in. Pew, pew. Oh. I'm feeling a little off today because Luke and I are both feeling kind of under the weather, so... However, Luke is actually in way more pain than me, so... And I can't take, uh, pain medicine to feel better, unlike Amber. Amber gets a headache, she can just... All I can do is have, a. Uh, sometimes ice cream helps, but mo Aww. mostly cold compresses on the head works. Ooh, pew, pew, so pew, sad. Pew. But yeah, we were uh, checking the YouTube algorithm, and we are the only big channel that is consistently doing three Power Ranger videos a week. Everybody else stopped two weeks ago. Also, somebody <laughs> else redid your video that you already. Did. I know. Like, how many? We? How much? How long ago did you do that video? Like, uh, a month ago. Two, two weeks months? ago. Wow! And someone did the exact video as you. Wait, they didn't just copy your video and re-upload it, did they? No. Okay. They, they did their own. They did their own thing, and then, but they did exactly what Luke did, were the character voices. Well, they they only did the intros. I did all the character speech in the game, as yeah. far as I know. The only thing I didn't do, which I wanted to, was all the assist, uh, like, uh, voices, because mm -hmm. the assists say different things when they come in. But that didn't really work out all that well yet. And yeah, the reason, guys, why there hasn't been a new Power Ranger news is there's no news at the moment. Like... Both Hasbro and Enway and Lionsgate, everybody's gone quiet except for the Legacy Wars thing with the Devin, the Red Ranger. Oh, yeah. That's it. Well, I guess we'll just keep waiting for Gold Ranger to come out. I'm guessing E3 is there's going to be a big announcement, but the, the problem I have with this, guys, is I don't think Hasbro realizes the dread of that is because... Um, Cross Tag Battle is going to have 30 new characters announced for DLC over the next year or two mm -hmm. into 2020, which is going to be crazy. That means that fighting game is going to be on par with Smash Brothers Ultimate. Because Smash Brothers Ultimate has pretty close to 80 characters. Oh, wow. And right now, at this point in time, after those four new characters have come out in uh, Cross Tag Battle that we covered, more yep. or less, that is... I believe the roster now is 40 characters total. Wow. With 35 coming. Or it might be 43. I don't know. Well, I'm excited for uh, Cross Tag Battle because, you know, it, it, it's not like they're just random characters that they put in there. It's actually characters from different well-known animes that people actually really like. And they have their own personalities. They have the moves that go with their, their anime and stuff like that. So. Mm-hmm. It's very interesting Ooh. to play because, you know, it gives you an idea of different animes you might have not heard about, and it's like, oh, maybe I want to check this anime out. Uh-oh. Nice job. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's okay. 
So but I mean, yeah, I mean, it's the same with this game. It's like you've got different Power Rangers from different shows you may have not seen. You might want to check those Power Rangers. I just want to play as Gold Ranger. It's been so long, and now that like everything is like the news everywhere is so silent, it's just it's terrifying. Nice hit. Like there, there's nothing. Okay. The, the last Power Ranger news video was done on May first. And I said that there was going to be more news and more live streams and all kinds of stuff. There's no more live streams from Enway either. It's all gone. It's just terrifying what could be happening yeah, behind the scenes. That's weird. Yeah. So, I mean, I would say it'd be very stupid to show off characters at E3 because there's no hype around this game anymore. We're it. The hype is the K-Wings playing this game nice. three times a week. Yeah. There's no one else doing it. Maximilian stopped. Uh, everyone stopped. Well, I mean, we had so many people that really enjoyed you, like, covering the live streams that, like, Enway was doing because... I had permission to do it, too. I don't know yeah, if I had I permission know. anymore if they start up again. I know that. <laughs> I just... I'm just saying, like, people really liked, you know, how you were... You were basically showing people, you know, be, you know like, the new... The stuff that they were talking about on the live streams, you would basically sum it up in a, you know, news video and let people know what was going on, new character moves and stuff like that. It was, I really liked those mm. live streams because oh, they were fun. Could, they were very creative. Everybody could watch, like, you know, uh, those, like, pro players just explain how to do certain moves and people could interact with fans and ask Enway questions while they were live streaming. It was really cool. Yep. That was very cool, and there was very hardly any developers that did that. So, what I see happening, if new characters are going to be released, which they are going to fulfill the Season Pass 1. Um, I was talking with uh, some former uh, employees, and they all pretty much certified that, you know, the Season Pass 1 is still happening. It'll happen sometime this year. And the Season Pass 1, you know, they're not going to tell me what characters are involved with that, but people can guess. They can guess. But um, what Street Fighter does is they will do a little announcement on their Twitter when it's time to release a brand new character, and they'll have no other information until that character officially releases. So you get a tease that they're coming, and that's it. So if I was a betting man, I would see the Power Rangers official Twitter doing that, or Hasbro doing it right around the time of like a big Power Ranger convention, or maybe E3. But after that, mm, don't know. Hmm. I don't know. And the newest uh, fighting game is coming out in just a couple weeks. There's a brand new fighting game that people have been waiting for called Samurai Showdown, which is a, a long time uh, 90 series that is getting kind of like a soft reboot. It's coming out for the Switch, the PS4, the Xbox One, and that releases the second week in June. And that's going to have character DLC and all this other stuff, you know? Oh, wow. So, I mean, the, the year of fighting games continues in 2019. And then there's another fighting game that's coming out, like, uh, in August. So, I mean, it's just like, I, I don't, I really wish Hasbro would just hire me to deal with this because this is not good to go silent like this. It, it can be the life or death of a game when you just... Wait, you want to move to California and work as a community manager? I no, uh, okay. I wouldn't be. I would just run their, like, social media stuff. I can do it right oh, from my okay. house. Yeah. Why do I need to go to their office? All right, that's true. I got that offer to uh, be a community manager for a, a game company where they said I only had to work from home, but it was back when, you know, our Disney Infinity stuff was going crazy and my Arkham stuff was, like, off the charts. If I would have done that, it would have oh. seriously impacted our, you know, our work then. Well, do you wish you would have done something like no, that? No, because it was only, like, a 12-month gig. Well... I mean, as they say for temp work, uh, you know, you never know. It could be... 12 months is a long time, though. Uh-oh. It's better than most temporary jobs. Ooh, Amber's on fire. Oh. Uh oh I gotta step it up. I can't underestimate you. Yep, I'm stepping it up. I will say this. Since uh, you guys... Well, I mean, at least for today, you're caught up with us recording Power Ranger video, because this is our Saturday video. Because we do Power Rangers Saturday, Monday, and Thursday. But I mean, so, everything is really changed right now so to the point we don't know what we're doing. Basically, what Luke is saying is at this point, we're just covering this game as um, basically fans, kind of, because 
not fans, but you know, just as our, our YouTube channel where we're just spec- All we can do is speculate, basically what I'm saying, because we don't have really any information. Everything comes from the top now, and the top is Hasbro. And since, you know... So uh, it's gonna be... It's gonna be know, very different going forward. We haven't seen any of their, ah! you know, streams happening for a long time where they interact with fans and stuff like that, so... Nope. It's... it... Our, basically, our Power Ranger coverage has got to change. So we basically know as much as you guys what's going on. Only difference is Luke is able to, because of all his years of gaming knowledge from different, working with different companies and basically predicting stuff, he's able to basically somehow figure out like and guess what characters, like, I don't know, sometimes you're pretty good at it, but now I have no idea. Oh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, we'll see what happens, but I mean, you know, I'm still, like, uh... We're still I, hoping for Gold Ranger, basically, that's... Yeah, that was our last big campaign, is what uh, the, the former people told me. And there's actually a lot of people that are gone now, which makes me sad, because I've known these guys for quite some time. Yeah. But, I mean, that's just That's what, what happens, happens in this industry. I joked around with one of them, I said, It would be great if you ended up at Warner Brothers. I could use some help there. <laughs> Never know. It's a very small industry, so. Whee! I still think it would be fun to be a community manager for Nintendo, but yeah, you would have to move to Redmond, Washington for that, and it's like, I don't want to. Ba boom! Look at me go! Oh, okay, never mind. Boom! You left yourself open for that one. And I won once. Yes! Man! Don't underestimate my knight. My knight is uh, pretty powerful when he gets going. But yeah, uh, just so you guys know, we won't be able to look at Samurai Showdown on this channel. But, um, you know, I all the stuff that you guys wanted, like, over three weeks ago, a month ago, where I brought up the small, the voice problem and stuff, like, uh, I gave everything to the design team, but they still haven't patched it yet. I don't know if they're going to. I haven't gotten any... Uh, clarification, so it's, it's, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I'm a little hurt. <laughs> patched know? what? Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, the patch, the stuff for this game? Yeah, they were supposed to make the voices well, louder. It's, it's really not, I mean, it, yeah, it'd be nice if they make the voices louder, but what are they, I mean, we don't really have as much say about it anymore. I know, I'm just venting a little really bit. have... Boop, boop, yeah. Boop. There, yeah. Ooh. It's not really much we can even say about it, but I just, I just feel like they're not working as closely with, um, like, <sighs> promoters and content creators on YouTube as much. So. Oh, definitely. Well, I that's mean, they basically were basically what we're trying to say. Yeah, that they're, they, their version of doing it was completely different than any other company that Amber and I work with. Even like that we're super friendly with, like companies just did not. Um, do that approach the way that Enway did, and that's because Enway, you know, they were an indie developer that went into mobile, and they still had that small company, um, you know, close circle friend type uh, relationship that they did with um, the press and YouTubers, and I can tell you from experience that no other company that I've worked with since 2011 has been that transparent with, uh, you know, different people. Uh, what I feel kind of sad about, though, is that, I don't know, I don't really want to, I probably shouldn't even get into it, but I just feel like, I liked how en when Enway, I just liked how Enway, it was kind of like their game, they made the game, you know, and I don't know, it's just, it's very difficult when you're using properties that are owned by a bigger, larger corporation. Mm -hmm. Because at one point, you never know when that bigger corporation is just gonna step in and be like, well, this is actually... Well, we saw the Transformers company come in and do stuff different with the toys. Like, we have a friend who runs like a Power Ranger toy and merchandise like site. Mm -hmm. And he even said that things are completely different than when they worked with Saban. Yeah. Like, well, that's the thing is Saban always kind of let people do their own thing with his properties. To some extent. To some extent. You had to be approved or he, he would, As long you know. as he approved it, it was fine pretty much. And obviously he needed his money or whatever. 
But other than that, it was kind of like, okay, it's your, you know... It... I just felt like... Yeah. But now things are much different where it's just... Yeah. Oh my gosh! I wanted to beat you so bad, but it's in there. Sorry. Happen. Amber's the winner! <laughs> oh, nice good, job. Yeah. Good Good try, Luke. I, <laughs> I tried. I wanted to get two wins, but it just wouldn't happen. But yeah. So. so yeah, just so you guys know, Power Rangers content will be changing, but we're going to try to keep uh, at least maybe like two Power Ranger episodes if, a week. Yeah, if Luke hears any news off the internet or if he hears any thing off blog sites or whatever, then he's obviously going to share whatever news he has. But basically, he'll be hearing the news, you know, just the same as everyone else on the internet. So he'll just be scrambling to try to tell you, like, yeah. as soon as possible. The, the biggest news thing that we'll be covering on this channel instead of Power Ranger news is going to be Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 stuff, because I got a lot of things to share with you guys. And that's going to be our biggest game that we're playing this summer. So we hope you guys will tune in in July uh, 17th, I believe. Although we're getting the game a little bit earlier, so I'm not going to tell you how early, but we'll... We'll cross that bridge later. But anyway, God bless and happy gaming. Thanks so much for watching, Ranger Nation. We will have more Power Rangers content for you on Monday on something. And then after this month, we'll have to wait until a new character comes out like any other fighting game we've ever covered. But until then, God bless and happy gaming. See ya!